is going on guys welcome back to wwe 2k18 my career mode the final chapter continues people and as you can see as you can probably hear my voice is a bit different i've got a cold so it's gonna be a bit more um nasally um so to speak but anyway last episode somehow we got a rivalry with dean ambrose and we could remove it if we wanted and um apparently there's gonna be a storyline at SummerSlam for the intercontinental title Currently in a pivotal story in your my career and cannot change your rival right now. So there's got to be something going on with Dean Ambrose, me, and the Intercontinental Championship. Hopefully that means we get a title shot in the future. Uh, but yeah, we're in a rivalry with Dean Ambrose. We're meant to be facing our truth at Extreme Rules. Um, I like how this year, um, even though you're in a rivalry, you can do a self promotion promo. But that doesn't mean I'm going to do one. But anyway... Uh, we're going to get into facing our truth right now at Extreme Rules. Let's do this. By the way, guys, um, before we get this started, I want you guys to hit that like button as hard as you possibly can. We are now at episode 14 or 15. I don't know. I, I'm going to go with episode 14 or 15. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, we're live. Extreme Rules. Well, not live. We're at Extreme Rules. Here we go. Another episode of my career. Hey, look at this. Look at this pyro. Look at this pyro. Yeah, by the way, guys, um, yesterday I was, like, really, really sick. Um, so, um, I know that a few of you that are a fan of my horror games that I play, um, I know you guys are slightly disappointed. Yeah, it's episode 14. I know you guys are s slightly disappointed about the fact that um, I was planning to play Five Nights at Freddy's 4. I really was. Uh, but you know, I, I guess that didn't really work. But anyway, we're gonna go one-on-one -on -one with our truth Let's do this, baby. I gotta say, the theme song that, um, the generic theme song that they chose for this year's Extreme is kind of lit, alright? I'll say that. I kind of like it. Not lit as in dubstep. Um, cause I, uh, uh, I kind of hate dubstep. Well, actually, no, I hate them set entirely. I listen to, like, a bit of hip-hop. Because uh, KSI, net nobody in that. They're not rappers. KSI might think he's a rapper, but he's not. Um, oh, shots fired. Um, oh, God. Why is the, why is the kick-out thing so small when my health is, like, nearly at the top? See? See, they, they made it a bit difficult this year. Um, anyway. Come on, Archer. Ron Killings. How is this guy a former NWA World Heavyweight Champion and yet he's a jobber in the WWE? How does that work? Like, I mean, come on. People like Ric Flair won the w uh, won the NWA World Heavyweight title. Like, that was a no-sell. Come on. There's so many moves in this game that get no-selled. And um, people wonder why I don't play this game that much. Even though I basically play it in all my videos. But like, outside of YouTube, I barely played this game at all. Oh, come on. Oh, just no. <coughs> it didn't even give me a prompt telling me that I didn't reverse it. Again, doesn't give me a prompt. Because it knows that I reversed it. Alright, oh god. Oh, our truth hit me with that Bella Buster. Roller. Oh, yes. See, see, my, my boy, which is myself, is clever. I'll say that. Not happening, baby. Oh, the knee. The knee. By the way, guys, if you want to change your attire, um, you're going to be sorely disappointed because I'm not changing my attire for a while. Oh, I didn't know I had a belly to belly suplex in my moveset. Wow. Can I do that again? Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, my God. Suplex City. Hit me with that hashtag Suplex City. Yeah. Let's do that again. One more. Oh! Yeah, you better get outside this ring. Yeah. Alright. What the fuck? You're meant to be facing the other way, Jordy. Alright, thank you. Double axe handle. Alright, let's get back. Oh, oh, 96 momentum already. That is nice. I like that 2K. See, see, 2K, 2K know when I deserve momentum. Oh, what's this? We got him in the Argentine hold. Oh, the Argentine backbreaker. Wow. All right, up you get. Let's hit him with one of my favorite moves. 
Not the one mugging angel, that's in the corner. Oh no! Okay, maybe I do have to hit him with the one mug. Lie detector by our truth Bloody hell, he hit me with that out of nowhere. And I'm gonna kick out straight away because that's what your boy does. I might not have played any video games at all in the last three days, but your boy still got it. He might not have it in a minute though. I reversed that. Bullshit! B -b -b Bullshit! One. Your boy, your boy's, your boy's getting better. Your boy's getting better at this. I like that. I like that. I'm not going to thank 2K for that this time because I'm good at 2K17. So, and I, I was the king of kicking out of that. Like, my God. Right, uh, what have we got this time? Boom. Oh, new comeback. Oh, yeah, I do because the Gargano one kept failing. So, I changed it to this generic one. <coughs> Ugh. All right, swap him round. You know what we're going for next, people. Yeah, here we go. One wicked angel. Can we finish it right there? Can we finish it right there in the middle of the ring? One, two, three. We didn't even. We never even used the finisher. We had. We used one special move in that match. So uh, wow. Like, R.I.P. in peace, our truth, all right? He gave it a good go, I'll say that. He hit us with the little Jimmy and the lie detector. But in the end, you know, we're just too good. One signature move. That's all it took. And there's nothing going on, so let's continue with our lives. Oh, what's up, Hunter? Noise hustle, uh, last few weeks. Uh. Triple H, hey, appreciate that. I could tell you were stressed out for a while there, but you took off like a bullet. Only did what I had to. That's all we could ever do, huh? Anyways, pretty big month. Over the next week, next few weeks, we're planning to decide who's going to be in the money in the bank match. I've been looking forward to this milestone. You and an army of superstars. I'm telling all the other guys the same thing. And I'm telling you now, every week, this every show this week is crucial in deciding who will be in that match. Um, I take that as an ever so slight affront. I treat every match as a big deal. Some matches matter more than others. You know that. Still, my fans are rooting for me whenever I'm out there. I'm conscious of that. Goes without saying then, be on the top of your game all month long. Understand? I hear you. Won't let you guys down. Alright. So I guess next video, because Money in the Bank might be a bit of a challenge, I'm thinking next video, next episode, is going to be a live stream. Talk to Stephanie McMahon, company man, or company girl, or Mick Foley, fan favorite. Should we talk to your girl, Stephanie McMahon? be a company man or should we speak with Mick Foley fan favorite because I remember doing this type of shit for the tag team parts and we got forced to be in a tag team from what like, Mick Foley should I do it I don't really uh, nah nah we're, we're in with your boys the authority you know let's do that yeah How to be a company man. What's going on? Not much. I heard there was a small get together happening soon. Yeah? Nothing big. Something called money in the bank. You know, I've only been in one once before. I've never won a money in the bank. But I would love to win that briefcase for the first time in my career. Yeah, yeah, and you won in. No surprises there. Can you blame me? It's the one thing I haven't won in my career. I've won almost every single thing I've set my sights on. There's only two more things I want in my career, and that is the money in the bank and then the universal title. If you can put me in that ladder match, I can get both of those things. No, but I can temper you. All right, listen up. There might be mutual interest here. Samoa Joe is our universal champion, and I intend to keep it that way. Money in the bank can be in use and usually is volatile. I'd want someone I can trust to win that briefcase. I'll take that briefcase for myself. Yeah. 
If that briefcase is in my hands, it'll stay there until I crack it open. Your funeral. Hard to apologize. I have ambition. And so do I. If you screw me, I will screw you so hard you'll wish you were still in NXT. Or dead. Let's say this. If you win the briefcase and relinquish it to me, it might be beneficial to your continued future here on Raw. I think I can safely say the opposite in a scenario where you don't do that. Get it? Got it. Good. We're done here. What? I- Oh, no! Oh, it's gonna take us ages to win that universal title, man. God damn it! Speak with Samoa Joe. Alright then, looks like we're le- Come on. Can I take this briefcase? Just so I can cash in, like, straight away. Wait, wait. Oh, if you press L1, it immediately- Wait, what if I- Oh my god, yeah, oh my god. Look, if you- Look, watch. Look at the briefcase, and I press L1, and the game slightly thinks you're gonna pick it up. That is weird. But anyway- the Universal Champion is right here. You know, I'm not trying to go for your championship right now. But my god, would it be nice to get that Universal title. But you don't have to worry for now. All I want is that in a Continental title. For some reason, I can't get it. Are we still on a rivalry with Dean? No, we are not. It's just like it could offer us that. T-shirt sales. I don't know how, like, what T-shirts are they buying? Unless I have one in my, I don't know. Anyway. See what you gotta say, Joe. Steph filled me in on your deal. What do you need from me? Here's what it is. I don't want specific superstars winning the briefcase. Better to control that situation. Take them out, whatever. Just win that briefcase. It's best for business, understand? Consider it done. Are you kidding me? Are we selling out to the authority? Hey. I, I, like, selling out to the authority is something I'll... Oh, okay, okay, yeah. It's something I want to do. God, I remember having a right good rivalry with Seth Rollins when it concerned the United States Championship. Those of you who have been here for a while, those of you who are long-standing members of the Bomb Squad will know that Seth Rollins was our biggest rival when we were going after the United States Championship. And that was, like, really early days in 2K17. Like, really early. Oh, I thought that was Seth Rollins then. That's our oh, truth. Seth Rollins in the... Oh, I think he might be in the locker room because I was watching Pulse the other day. He's at the exact same point as me, except on SmackDown Live. They're like the same stories, just slightly different. So, they're all... He'll be in the locker room. Yeah, there you go. No. It's nothing personal. It's just best for business. No. You know, this is the authority's way of still screwing with Seth. I, I'm, I'm assuming Sheamus has ran off now. Why can't I just attack him and put him back uh. down? Ah! Uh. Oh, you stay down, bitch. I'm picking up this chair. <laughs> uh. Boom! Okay, maybe not. Oh, what the fuck? No! 2K. 2K. 2K today. What is this shit? What is this shit? How is he able to strike so quick? I'd like you to piss off. Let's pick another fucking jar again, boy. Really, really. Oh look, 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 look at this. I can't get anything in. Ah. Ah. Oh my. Oh, oh no rever no reversal slots. Yeah, there's your boy! Whoa! Oh my god, I remember spamming that move in 2K15. Memories, man. I used to spam that outlook, those outlaw stumps, man. I used to fucking spam those. Oh, get whacked! Alright, this is my best chance. Stop beating him. You're dumb. You're fucking dumb. This AI is gay! It happened again. It happened again. Like, did you see that? He, like, no-sells it. Didn't even give me a chance to reverse, but okay. Oh! Okay, 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 okay. Hit him! 
Okay, I've got nothing. I've got nothing right now. Please, please. Every fiber of my body needs to hit this. I can't hit it. Oh, 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 did I change my moves? Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, I did. I did, so I can hit it faster because the Gourd Buster kept getting reversed, if you guys remember. When we were in a rivalry with Ziggler, it kept getting reversed over and over again. So I changed it to the Kinshasa. Like, have I got a outside ringside finisher? Rip Gourd Knee and the Spine Buster. Looks like we're going for the Spine Buster, boys. You ready to hit this? Goodbye, Seth. Spine Buster! How are you not knocked out from that? Tell me. What is your secret? Okay, okay, okay. I see you, Seth. Maybe I don't see you. Your time is up, my time is now. What the? Please tell me that hasn't knocked me out. Okay, good, 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 because I was getting fucking. I was about to get pissed. Like, how did he get that? I can't reverse anything. It won't let me live. It won't even give me the choice to R2 it. Let me hit him. Of course. Of course he reverses it. I mean, it's Seth Rollins. He's the face of the game. Bet you. If I attacked Roman Reigns, I'd be fucked. I guess this is what you get. I fucking re I reversed that! You didn't even tell me it was too late! Get the fuck out of here, 2K! You didn't even tell me it was too late! Pissing me off! This game, I, f I hate it. I hate it. I really do. Oh my god. It gives you no VC at all, even if you win like every match, like I have done. I'm basically undefeated at this point. It gives gives me next to no VC, and uh, people tell me to improve my character. When the game doesn't give you any VC, you can't improve your character. And I don't know why, but my reversal slots are not moving up. I'm like, it's almost maximum at this point, and I still only have three reversal slots. When Seth Rollins has about four or five. Like, everyone I face usually has more reversal slots than me. It, it's pretty difficult, but you know, we, we made a statement, I'll say that. Starting things off loud, loudly, aren't you? Oh, you heard that? The WWE Universe heard that, man. Pretty brutal beating you gave him. Renee is unsurprisingly raring to chat with you about it. Why don't you go give her a soundbite or two? All right, let's do this. I like interviewing. I like interviews with Renee on this game. It's one good thing. Oh, look at this. Mick Foley and Ryan Balor in the same room. Let's see what you gotta say. Hey, don't want to admit it, but that was fun to watch. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Yeah, okay. It was fun to watch me get absolutely screwed by 2K because they won't let me reverse my shit. Like, ugh, I'm on normal difficulty, and yet the game is glitching on me. Okay, thanks for having my... You know what? I don't even give a shit anymore. He deserved that. We all know it. Oh, that's nice. Coming from um, my advocate. Please welcome my guest tonight. That attack came out of nowhere. Did he do something for you? Or do something to you? What was your reason for that? This is what's best for business. Whether that's for my business or the companies, that will have to be left for your own analysis. But what I will say is this. I have particular interest in seeing certain outcomes here in the WWE. Most of the time, I'm towing the line as per what helps the company. Others, I'm in the ring seeking a certain something for myself. Either way, I'm here to keep things entertaining and moving along. Thanks for the time. Back to you. Well, guys, that is the end of this episode of WWE 2K18 My Career Mode. It was a alright episode, I'll, I'll say that. We basically had no matches on this night now, uh, though. Uh, but next episode will be Money in the Bank, guys. Um, well, we're going to see if we can get there anyways. But anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, my God, I am, like, burping a lot. But anyway... Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see if I can improve my guy as much as possible ready for the next episode. And, uh, well, I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.